Hey friends, this is Harriet Williams of the More For Your Glory Project and my son, Joseph. Hello. All right, we are getting ready for another Backyard Bible Club. It's called Seed Sowers. So I thought you would like to participate with us as we get ready for Backyard Bible Club. You can actually start putting together some activities that you can do at home and have your own vacation Bible school. Are you ready, Joseph? Yes, ma'am. All right, we're gonna work on games first. Okay, so there are a couple of seed sower games that we're going to put together for inside and then one for out. Oh, wait, there's two of them outside. They're really fun. Okay, but we got to get some things together. So first, you're going to need some colored paper cards, preferably real stiff paper. Feel that? Okay, so it's card stock. And I like to use different colors, okay? I need to make three sets, three sets of little signs. So... Okay, we'll do three yellows. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, I like green. Is that cool, Joseph? Okay. Three greens. And do we want to... Our last color, do we want it to be... I don't have three. Oh, I got three blues. Uh, but they're kind of flimsy. This isn't that card stock. Okay. You want to do purple? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can wrap pur purple. But we'll switch because I have One, green. Two, three purples. And shall we go green, orange, and purple, or green, yellow, and purple? Mm -hmm. Orange, yellow, green, then purple. Oh, I need three colors. Oh, then we'll do green, orange. All right, green, orange, and purple. All right, so for our motto for seed sowers is, I'll use orange for this one. Know it. Show the sign, Joseph. Grow it. And so, because first we need to know God's word so that the goodness of God can grow in our hearts and then we are able to sow the word of God and tell other people about Jesus. Yeah, we got our Bible lesson in already. Okay, so we're making these signs and we're going to attach them to sticks. Joseph, what kind of sticks do you have over there? We have... I don't know what these are, chopsticks? No, something. those are the sticks that came out of the shoe box. It like helped hold the tissue in my pointy shoes. Oh, but they can be used for chopsticks, but let's try another one. Okay. We have okay. some pops. You can use popsicle sticks. I know it was a sacrifice. I ate three popsicles just for this craft. Why didn't you share them? Uh, what are the kind of sticks we have? We also have these cookie sticks. All right, cake pop sticks. Those will work perfectly. Okay, so for popsicle sticks are nice and flat. It's easy to attach these on here, little garden markers. We can attach it with tape, which I got sticky tape. Or. Okay, or if you want, you can pull out the glue and have your tri glue. Okay, so we're making the little markers. I'm going to do this, these ones first. All right, Joseph, will you put, ooh, I didn't hold down. Joseph, will you do the purple one? Okay, there you go, sticky tape. I'll write a new stick. I mean, attach them to the stick. All right, so, know it. My phone is buzzing. Mom, you made a mistake. Did I, but. Oh, there we go. This is supposed to be know it, and I wrote know it on a green. Green. Green was supposed to be for grow. Fortunately, it's blank on the other side. Okay, so this is going to be grow it. Uh -huh, but Thank you, Joseph. The people out there are really smart and be able to see it from the other side. Of course, everybody's smart, Joseph. Okay, let's get some more. As in, too signs. smart that they can actually see it from the other side. Right. Which is really good. Which is really good. Where's All right. The other pop? Know it to grow it and grow it to sow it. Now, no where's the extra popsicle it. sticks? I didn't eat that many popsicles. Did then you? now I'm going to stick these. Use the cake popsticks. <laughs> All right. Know it 
to grow it and grow it to try it. Sew it. Thank you. Sew. Know it to grow it and grow it to sew it. All right. S O W. So it. Okay, while well, Joseph's trying to get those sticks open, I'm actually going to move on to the next part of our, our craft. One of the uh, games has to do with ping pong balls. Can you see those? So I've got large ones and I've got small ones. And this one makes a really fun table game. I've got these mini cups. Okay. And the lid to the shoe box. That oh, these little sticks came okay, out. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do, hopefully this glue is good. Uh, and then, of course, because we're making a video, the glue won't come out the container. Ha -ha. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Glue. Ah, glue is coming out of the container. Great. So I'm going to glue these little cups in this lid, but they're not going to all be up. Some of them are going to be turned upside down. You see that? Okay. I can see and the that reason. Now. So, because the Thank you, Joseph. Because these are our seed sower games. So as we toss the ping pong ball in here, the object of the game is to get the ping pong ball in the cup. However, some of the cups will be upside down, kind of like the parable of the sower. Some of the seeds, they fell on the path and they didn't get a chance to, good job. They didn't get a chance to, be planted in the soil because the birds came and ate them up and then there were some that fell on the shallow soil mm -hmm. it had too many rocks in there didn't take root so it's kind of like the sower is tossing his seeds in like a ping pong ball some of them make them in the cup some of them don't all right so we're still you got all the signs done can oh i, I got one? Can I one in let well sew it sew it so it signs. All right. So we are putting these in here. So I'm going every other one here in my lid to make this game. All right. Here's an interesting trivia question. Can you guess my shoe size by the size of the box lid? <laughs> you don't know shoe sizes. Yes, I do. Okay, you got the signs done? Oh, these know it's need stick. Need to be put on stick. <laughs> now, some of, actually, I'm going to use, uh, I am going to use uh, three of these signs to put on our snack. Because we're going to make a snack video with dirt cups. So, I hope that you will watch that video also. And they don't actually have dirt. No, they're going to be edible dirt cups. Alrighty, I'm just filling that up as quick as I can. Bloop, bloop. <gasps> Making good progress. Mom. Yes, Joseph. You gave me a sign to put it on, and now I can't put it on. Oh, I want you to just take it off and put the correct one on. Okay. This one. And it. Boom, then. Uh, flip out. Oops, Ouch. sorry. Put it there. Boom. Okay. Now I'm putting these, I'm gluing these pretty close together so it leaves a bit of a gap at the top. But you could actually space these out. I'm going to do this next row spaced out a little bit more. Um, because again, like the parable of the, of the sower, some of those seeds don't even make it to the garden. They're on the side path. So you're scattering seeds. Not all of them land where he wants them to go. But oops, I put that wrong. There you go. So, but again, as you can see, I'm following this pattern of every other one. One's up, one's down, one's up, one's down. Okay. All right, Joseph, you rock. Why don't you show your handiwork there? Show a set, set of them. What's our motto again? What's the first one? 
Know it. Know it. To grow it. And grow it to sew it. Okay. Well, here I go. Ah, I keep putting the glue on the wrong side of the cup, Joseph. I want to go to this one. Can I make a shot? Yes. So this first game is just about ready to play. Just don't want glue upwards because then the, you might end up. Yes. What about the clock? Oh, it's time for snack time. Joseph wanted to make sure we weren't late for for the uh, for the dirt snack time. Uh huh. But he didn't was aware of the time. I was not aware of the time. And Joseph's gonna make this move. Okay, so hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get up and move this camera so we can see Joseph play this game. There, there we go. Okay, Joseph's gonna test out our first seed sower game. With the ping pong toss. See if you can get the ping pong ball in the cup. Go, Joe. I can use this. No, just use, just use your hand and toss it. Ah! All right. And one. All right, I'm going to toss it in. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Hey, good job. Next one. Uh, Joseph? Mm -hmm. Thought you were going to use the small ping pong balls. Yeah. Okay, yep. try it again. Mm. Oh, he's actually pretty good at the game. Okay, well to make it more challenging, stand up and stand at the end of the table. And I have to use two. Uh, stand at the end of the table, not the side of the table. Oh, right here? Yes. All right. Give it a go. Okay. Next. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do, we're going to use the shoe part of the box, not the lid, but the actual box itself and use larger cups and larger ping pong balls. Okay, so now we've got our lids. Hold on, Joseph. So we've got our shoe box lid with the cups in it, as well as our shoe box with the larger cups. Joseph has the small ping pong balls and the larger ping pong balls. And to make it fun, zoop, zoop. there we go. We give him an opportunity to challenge himself to get the ping pong ball in the cup. Go! Uh, that one landed on the wayside. Next. Eh. Ah, it hit the shallow ground. Eh. Next. Ah, nowhere near. Next. Bam. It's challenging now, huh? Joseph wants to bounce it. I'm thinking maybe you should just make a good toss of it, Joseph. As you can see, oh. yes, good ground. See? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Never underestimate the art of the table. The art of the table. <laughs>